Mail time. What's up gamers and tubers and welcome back to the channel and for those of you new to the channel my name is Rami I am your host and in this video series of what did I get in the mail today that's right we're going to be doing an unboxing and review of this PXP3 slim station retro 16-bit handheld all right guys so let's tear this thing open and let's see what I got in the mail today Okay guys, so I got this thing tore open and this is what came inside my package. The PXP3 Slim Station console handheld. Your standard, actually it's not standard, it is a 2.5 millimeter AV out jack to hook it up to the TV. Standard USB charging cable. Two game cartridges ion lithium rechargeable battery and standard user manual oh it also came with this eh, carrying case it's not made out of the best material but it's okay all right so that is what came inside my package Okay. okay, so let's install the battery. Like so. Like so. Okay, let's take in just a rough over look of the machine itself all right of course you just seen where I put the battery in this is where your speaker comes out at you have your start select button reset button directional pad Ooh, I actually feel pretty good now they are individual buttons and then your gameplay buttons volume knob on and off switch AV out USB charging port and of course the slot for the game cartridge now this thing also has pre-built in games on it already and then of course the two cartridges that come with it now guys I know they say nine thousand nine hundred ninety nine six whatever you know there's not that many games there's just no way there may be that many games on there but it's repeat after you go through so many games the menu's just going to repeat that's pretty common with most of these um china handheld copies of course this is looks just like a psp but that's pretty common with most of your Chinese knockoffs. Okay guys, so let's get this thing turned on, get a little gameplay going, check out the screen, see if this thing is worth $15.
Okay, so first off, the screen, pretty bright and vibrant, I must say. Now again, you know, there's absolutely no way there's that many games on here. Okay, let's, let's turn this down. Annoying menu sound. Uh, again, the screen is nice, bright, and vibrant. It is backlit. Again, you know, there's not that many games on here, but I'm sure that there is a good, decent amount of games on here. And, uh, probably some mixed homebrew games, like most of these Chinese knockoffs have. Um, now, the speaker, like you just heard, seems to get pretty loud. Um, now there's only one, so I'm sure it's only mono, but hey, it seems to get pretty daggum loud. Alright, well, let's scroll through the menu here for a minute. Now this is a 16-bit handheld console, and from the first few pages I can tell you that it seems to be all Sega Genesis games. Again, in some mixed homebrew games. Yeah. Things like Battletoads and Batman and Sonic, of course. And Mortal Kombat. Yeah, these are majority of them uh, are Sega Genesis games. Alright, so let's, let's see how well it emulates. See how responsive the buttons are. That's a decent little speaker. I will say, it's mono, of course. Yes, there's only one, but you know what? It sounds pretty decent for what it is. Midway presents Mortal Kombat. Mwahaha! All right, got to pick my, my one of my two boys. My one of my two boys being Scorpion or Sub-Zero. Those are my two favorite characters. Okay, the buttons feel pretty good. They're pretty responsive. Game seems to be emulating well. No lag. Okay, yeah, uh, no lag. Buttons feel pretty good, even though the directional buttons seem to be individual buttons instead of your normal almost feels like an eight-way D-pad. Okay. Reset button takes you back to, of course, your main game menu. Now, again, it's just like all these other Chinese knockoffs. It's, it starts you back from the first page. Alright, let's throw a cartridge in this thing and see how well it works. Again, 16-bit games seem to be yeah, definitely Sega Genesis games. Let's try Sonic. So, so far, guys, I'm liking it. I mean, I've seen a lot of uh, review videos saying how cancerous this handheld is. <laughs> now, of course, if you're a hardcore gamer, you're, this is not going to be the buy for you. Um, but if you're like me, I go over to my buddy's houses a lot on the weekends and whatnot. And this is nice to be able to have some 16-bit Sega Genesis games to take with me and have on the go. 
And I mean, again, for the price that I spent, I mean, I don't know what you would expect, but I mean, for $15, I think it's an awesome buy. So far. Now, of course, again, it's it was fifteen dollars, so I don't ex I don't expect much. The quality is not the best. Again, if you're a hardcore gamer, this is not going to be the buy for you. Um, but it's definitely not as cancerous as everybody seems to be saying. Again, I don't know what they expect for fifteen dollars. This thing runs anywhere I've seen it from between fifteen to twenty bucks. And for that, again, to have some Sega Genesis games on the go, it works great. Emulates well. I see no lagging. The button responses very well. Okay guys, so, my final thoughts. Is it the best buy in the world? No. Is it for the hardcore gamer? No. Is it a decent little game system? I want to say yes. For the price? Absolutely. Again, I spent $15 on this thing. Also, I will drop a link in the description below if you want to purchase one. And again, I, these things seem to run anywhere from 15 to 20 bucks. Uh, for somebody like me, who just loves to play retro games, I love to be able to take my now 16-bit Sega Genesis games on the go with me. Again, is it is the best purchase in the world? Absolutely not. Is it the best quality made thing in the world? Absolutely not. Is it worth 15 or 20 dollars? In my opinion, Absolutely. If you're somebody like me who, again, loves to be able to go over to a buddy's house on the weekends, doing whatever, uh, and being able to bring some retro 16-bit Sega Genesis games with me, that is awesome. Um, especially for the price. So, I want to say thumbs up in this instant for this little PXP3 Slim Station. Um... I mean, it is what it is. If you want to purchase one, again, I will leave a link down in the description below. But I like it for the price. Um, but again, I like it for the price. And, uh, you know, that's just my opinion, you know. I just don't think it's as cancerous of a handheld as everybody is saying it is. It's absolutely not the best thing in the world. But, I mean, for you get what you pay for. And for this, I mean, I think it's worth, I think it's worth it. Um, 
again, if you want to buy this thing, I'll leave a link down in the description below for a couple different places where you can get this thing. Well, gamers and tubers, that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, hit that thumbs up button. If you want to see more videos just like this one, hit that subscribe button. And until next time, guys, 